when you look at it from your point of view, you know, as, as the network engineer, um, you know, when company management comes to you dreaming about automation and all these great things it's going to do, you know, what are um, some of the misconceptions that that they often have with that? And, you know, kind of what's your reality as coming from a, a engineering perspective? It always feels like there's a disconnect between what leadership wants to do and says is possible and what's quote unquote easy and then what the NetOps folks have to do. Um, you know, we I, I've always joked on any kind of calls I'm on with a project, like when any, anytime anybody says something's easy or, oh, well, all you got to do, you know, that's a red flag for me. It means they don't know the intricacy and the difficulty of, you know, of what they're asking. Um, you know, I, I've had I've had conversations with leadership at different orgs. You're like, well, just, you know, it, it's almost like they think, well, just press the automation button, man. Like, that's all you got to do. Like, you know, Gartner or somebody said, we all have to automate, so we're all going to automate, so just do it, right? And um, I think the, the biggest misconception is just the level of difficulty for the network operator to learn all the automation tools. You know, we could talk for 20 minutes about Ansible and how great it is, but also all the different things you have to learn to stand it up, get it working, know a config file from a YAML file, and then there's syntax and spacing it. Like th this whole automation coding world, um, for a guy like me who wasn't a computer science major, I didn't take four or five you know, programming languages in college. And I would say there's a lot, I, I speak to a lot of people in the community, in the network engineering community, and it might be a split, maybe 50-50, maybe half of us, our computer science folks and it's not a big deal like sure i know python sure ansible is a breeze but there's a ton of folks like myself who didn't go to a computer science you know college major thing and when you say things like well all you got to do is learn ansible and python and data structures and chef and puppet it whoa 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 <laughs> you know hold on and time right is is the hardest thing to come by you know you have a job like we talked about you have a lot of things to do day to day and now you have to learn all this stuff that comes with automation there's not one magic button right now there are some solutions that we might get into that do really seem to abstract a lot of that automation pain stuff away and and give you a much more accessible easier interface but my challenge was when am I supposed to learn all of this coding uh, automation stuff? Because it is a technical skill set. And I was never afforded time during my work days to do that. So much, most things in tech, nights, weekends, you know, um, sacrificing time with my, you know, kids and family so that I can work on, you know, learning Python at night, right? Um, that's, that's probably the biggest misconception, a, two of them. A, it's easy, and B, you don't need much time to do it. Just go just, just go automate, you know? Um, yeah, you, you kind of triggered me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's, that's okay, because that's the reality of it, right? I mean, you're speaking to it from a reality perspective.